Here's a video that I've been meaning to make for quite some time. G'day everyone, welcome back to Brushes with Beck. Today's video is actually a watercolour brush pen video. Now I purchased these watercolour brush pens from Typo, which is a store that we have here in Australia. And I actually purchased these um, about a year and a half ago actually, not quite a year and a half ago. And I did one video where I unboxed them and swatched them and, and I did a, um, a painting of a bird. And then I put them away and I never used them again. And I'm not sure why, because they were really fun to use. And so I thought for this week, um, I would pull them out again and do another quick little painting. And I really wanted to do this as well, because that video actually did really well. You guys really seemed to love it. A lot of people were interested in watercolour brush pens, or at least they seemed to be from how many people watched my video. So I thought I wanted to do another little quick one. And I also wanted to see whether these brush pens were still good because they had been sitting in my cupboard for a year and a half and I didn't expect them to be very good quality so I wasn't sure if they would have been dried up. So I tested every colour, swatched out every single colour again and much to my disbelief every colour was perfectly fine. So that made me really happy that they hadn't just dried up over that length of time and I was just able to pick them up and use them again. So I've been, I'm drawing this little, not drawing, but painting this little image of a pair of musk lorikeets that I photographed a little while back. And they're both peeking out of a tree hollow where their nest is. I did change up my reference photo a little bit. I didn't include the section of the tree hollow that's behind the lorikeets. And then I obviously changed the background from a patchy leafy sky to this vivid orange pink colour and I just thought it would set the birds off nicely. I wanted it to be a little bit more loose and arty rather than having to do something super realistic and I also thought a circular format would just really help to highlight the lorikeets nicely and make them a really nice central focus. So that's why I've gone with the circle for this painting as well today. So these brush pens are really easy to use. Uh, you can be pretty messy with the colour lay down, although, you know, the neater you are, the nicer the end result you get as with anything, but you can blend out almost all those really messy strokes if you really try. And the earlier you use the water brush pen over the coloured brush pen, the easier it is to blend out those squiggly brush strokes if you've done them. So keep that in mind if you're doing this, that you can more easily blend out the sooner you use the water brush pen rather than leaving it to dry for some time before coming back in with the water brush pen. It can be quite difficult to get rid of those uh, brush lines if you haven't covered the whole area in that colour. So it's a pretty simple piece, like I said, I've gone pretty bold with the colours and I thought that orange and pink would set off the blue on the bird's heads really well. And then I've used that shadowy blue on the branch to sort of illustrate that that's a deep shadowy area, complements the blue on the tops of the bird's heads and also, you know, contrasts against that nice vivid pink colour. So it all came together quite nicely. As you can see, it looks really messy. So what I decided to do was actually, I, I used a brush pen, a black brush pen to go around the circle and make like a really nice bold outline of the circle. And then I used a fine point, a uh, fine liner to then detail a little bit in the birds. Because as you can see with the brush, watercolor brush pens, I've done it very loosely. I haven't been particularly neat and some of the detail is a little bit lost and messy in there and there's not real a lot of definition. So that's why I've gone in with that black brush pen around the edge of the circle and then with a fine point fine liner to just, I didn't need a lot of detail, I just needed hints of definition of the feathers. So you can see me going around uh, the edges of the branch there to detail that in along with the feathers as well, adding a little bit of hatching for shading and just to get a nice emphasis on things that needed a bit more definition rather than just relying on my subpar uh, watercolour brush pen work. 
because once I, as I said, this is only the second time I have used these. But overall, I do think it came together quite nicely and this is another thing that I really like using as a quick practice piece, something I can go a bit crazy with the colours, practice my shadows and my complementary colours and colour combinations and just throwing things together. The same with when I like to use Derma Drawing Pencils on Cans and Matons, it's a really quick combination of surface and tool and I think it just works really nicely. So there you can see the finished piece, the colours really pop on it and I quite like how it came together for such a quick piece. If you enjoyed this video please make sure you give it a thumbs up, leave a comment down below and I'll see you again next week for another one. Stay creative!